We're back with Mark Perry, Director of Product Planning here at Nissan North America for the all-electric Nissan LEAF. Uh, Mark, talk to us a little bit about the battery coverage. A lot of questions about what the battery warranty entails. Can you briefly describe it? Sure. I mean, the battery warranty is eight years, 100,000 miles. So just start with that fact. Now, the questions we get is, well, what's covered and what's not? You know, I'm not a Philadelphia lawyer, and we don't try to do that. Look in your owner's manual. All that information is spelled out. But generally speaking, it's, is the battery putting out enough power? And if it's not, if there's something wrong, we'll cover it. So a lot of community members have made the distinction of uh, capacity loss with regard to the battery and with regard to the warranty. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us a little bit about what that means? Sure, let me, let me try to explain. Any lithium ion battery pack from anybody lo gradually loses capacity over time. It's just a battery from a chemistry standpoint over a 10 year life you'll have about 70 to 80% of capacity left after 10 years. So there's a gradual loss of capacity. What we warranty, however, is not the loss of capacity. What we warranty is energy output to make sure the battery's putting out enough energy to make sure the car is safe, you get all the acceleration, everything you need to do to drive every day, that's what we warranty. If there's any type of power, we say a power drop and it's a cell problem, that's what we cover. So, Mark, uh, Rich Civil asked us on the Nissan LEAF Facebook page uh, about the individual modules and whether they're covered separately in the warranty. Can you make that distinction? Can you help yeah. us understand a little bit about that? Part of the beauty of the Nissan LEAF's battery pack is that it's modular, that you can go in and actually look at every individual cell, the 192 cells that are in there, and the 48 modules, and individually look at how they're performing. So people are always worried about, and, and I understand the, the worry that, oh, I'm gonna have to replace my entire battery pack. The chances of that happening are, are almost zero. What you may be replacing is a cell or an individual module, and that's what's covered under warranty. We had a question from a Facebook community member, James Winningham. Uh, how will the battery, the Nissan Leafs battery, perform in cold weather? James, that's a really good question. Uh, first off, the car, from a battery standpoint, uh, charging, that, if, you, if you're plugged into the wall, charging provides enough residual energy and heat that you don't have to worry about cold temperatures whatsoever. But if you're in that rare situation, and you can always think of the what ifs, and our engineers, always, they stay up nights worrying about what ifs. A what if could be, I don't know where you live, but if you're in Boston and you're going to Maine and you're outside at Logan in the far remote parking lot, no plugs anywhere nearby, and it's minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit and you're gone for the entire weekend, your car is going to need some time to warm up, just like your internal combustion engine car. I mean, you don't, just some, some of them just don't start up when it's been cold soaked that long. A battery, once it reaches minus 30 degrees C, that's about 14, 15 below zero, for more than 72 hours, you just need to warm it up. And that's, that's what you need for cold weather. Model year 12, we made a battery warming system standard equipment with the Nissan LEAF, so you don't even have to worry about it. But just, if, just the simple fact of plugging in, that solves it without any problems. So we talked about cold. Uh, talk to us about heat. Uh, really extreme hot temperatures, how does it affect the battery? Yeah. Heat is definitely not a friend of batteries, but I'm talking about severe 130, 140 degrees Fahrenheit kind of heat. So if you're in that situation, again, this is not a situ this is not a, you're just parked in the parking lot and it's 110 degrees you need to worry about it. This is, you're parked in pick Death Valley and it's 130 degrees outside, it's, the, it's August and you're gonna leave the car there for a week. That's bad, don't do that. But just normal conditions, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but if, again, long-term storage, don't park your Nissan LEAF or any electric vehicle where it's gonna be more than 120 or 130 degrees. Thanks, Mark. We'll be back with more questions and answers from Mr. Mark Perry, the Director of Product Planning for the Nissan LEAF.